to some business news now. Bayabab Kenya, which is part of the infrastructure business arm of MTN Group, has announced the completion of the first phase of their 1.67 billion shillings investment in a long distance fiber network around Kenya, connecting Mombasa to Malaba and Busia. The long distance fiber cable that runs to the western parts of the country is set to improve connectivity, making it easier for other players in the last mile infrastructure to broaden their networks to the underserved parts of the country. According to players in the ICT space, the investment should help connect the region through Uganda and onward to Rwanda, South Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The completion of the 1,000-kilometer fiber layout by Biobab in their east-to-west -west route from Mombasa to Malaba is set to significantly reduce the government's burden of increasing connectivity across the country. Communication Authority Director General David Mugonyi welcomed the investment, saying it is part of the government's plan to lay 100,000 kilometers of fiber connectivity across the country, 52,000 kilometers of which should be done by the government, with the rest being undertaken by the private sector. He says this will lower the cost of internet connectivity. Implementing Kenya's digital transition to a digital economy rests fully on our ability to connect Kenyans, their homes, their businesses, institutions, and every touch point of life to strong, reliable internet. We are perfectly positioned to reap the social and economic rewards of our full digital life, but we must deliver access robustly and at a scale. There is room for everyone. There is really room for everyone. And all we need to do is really collaborate. The end game for us, as we say, as an open access player, the end game is really to reach the undeserved. ICT sector players say for the country to bridge the widening digital divide, the government should work on eliminating way leave charges, which make it expensive for investors owing to the duplication of charges across counties. Uh, they are also calling for strict penalty for vandals, noting that cable vandalism remains a leading cause of internet downtown in the country. At the same time, they have defended the concentration of internet service providers in certain localities. We spent close to $13 million on this project. Uh, this project involves both the passive network, meaning the civil build, and the active network. Uh, we've built quite a, a number of kilometers over the last two years. We now have 2,600 kilometers of cable across the country, and we're experiencing a lot of vandalism, a lot of it intended, and the rest really unintended. It's a challenge for us, uh, internet service providers, to go into some areas where the economic viability is an issue. However, there are pockets where we've partnered with the Communications Authority using what's called the Universal Service Fund. The line from Mombasa to Malaba is expected to further help Baobab scale with an extra 2 terabyte, a capacity that they will be looking to double by 2025. Further, the company has already sold 3 terabytes of its capacity to different operators within Kenya. They plan to get into future partnership with players who operate low-orbit satellites. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.